Today we're going to talk about beds. Before we talk about beds, subscribe to my channel. Once you watch this video, I'm pretty sure you'll like what you see, so please watch and like my other videos. I think we can all agree that a bed is probably the most important part of your van build. Why? Without a bed, you cannot take Instagram-worthy pictures of your girlfriend laying on her stomach, staring out the back of the van wistfully while the sun sets in the sky and she's looking out onto the river or the creek or the ocean or the lake or the pond. So please, everybody, let's go out and build a bed. Let's go do the time lapse again. <coughs> So what we've got here, you saw me put up the bed boards and the mattresses. Um, this was all mounted on this L track that runs, well, let's call it north to south. And then these brackets hold the IKEA frames in place and they're just mounted to the L track, creating a very stable frame for the bed. Let's talk more outside. Okay, so as you saw in the van, um, we used L-Track to hold up our Scorva panels. I used four Scorva panels, uh, bed rails, I guess you should call them, and those rails hold about 200 pounds each. So it's really up to you to determine how many rails you wanna use. I decided on four, bought five, probably could use five, never hurts to be safe. Um, on top of that, we have some plywood covered in speaker cloth, and on top of that, we have those mattresses that you saw camper mattresses is what they're called. I'll get the size for you and put it in the link below or the comments below. Um, and then on top of that we would have a foam topper, a very plush, very comfy, almost feather bed like mattress topper, and then we have our comforter. We have slept in this van when it's been about 27 degrees and snowing. The beds kept us perfectly warm. Now getting out of bed, putting your feet on the floor, that's a whole different story. So, anything else about the bed that we can talk about? Yes, the L-Track is screwed into the van via rib nuts or plus nuts. I use plus nuts. Uh, I'll put the link again down below to the size that fits the Ford Transit. And these plus nuts insert themselves into the existing van hole, or you can drill a new hole if you need to insert a plus nut. And basically what you do is use a plus nut tool and you crank down the plus nut and it opens up and locks itself into the wall of the van and that becomes a place to put a bolt. So my L-Track is bolted into rib nuts, bolted into the side of the van, and it's not going anywhere. All right, well thanks for watching my video. I look forward to the next video, which I think is gonna be the porta potty in a box and the fridge in a box with the slide out rails. Um, hopefully, I overcame my problem of being a YouTube noob and I'm looking at the lens and not looking at the camera. I've got some feedback that uh, I wasn't looking in the right places. So thank you for that everybody and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you.